Leveret marriage, locally known in Eastern Equatorial State as Ojingo, is still a practice that is in use in some parts of the state. Matthew Oduma, a chief at a local court in Torrid Town, says many women have suffered at the hands of the brothers of their deceased husbands. Don't spoil the widows. You leave the woman without giving her food and taking responsibility of her children. And then if she finds another man, the family of the deceased husband comes and asks for payment. If you are the brother, change your behavior. You are supposed to take responsibility of the woman and her children, not the disease properties for yourself. And if this is brought to court, it is cheating. What if you are the one dead? It is the children to take the properties of their father. Rose Akongo is a resident of Ilangi in Tori Town. She says when her husband died, his brother inherited her and the family cattle her husband left for their children. I have two kids and they are in school. And when I started staying with him, I thought he would help me. But he has not helped at all, not even feeding me and my children. It reached when I wanted to take my boy to school. I wanted to sell the cattle my husband left for me to pay the boy's school fees. Instead, he took the cattle and sold it and sent me out of his home. He also put me in prison for six months. He has not put my children in school after selling all the cattle. Annabel Idiongo is another woman who had to marry the brother of her deceased husband. She says her first husband has two children. Idiongo says wife inheritance should be discouraged in South Sudan because it leads to suffering for the woman and her children. I used to be happy with my husband during Christmas. He will buy new clothes for all the children. But this man I am with, since he inherited, he has bought nothing for the children. He doesn't mind. Leverage marriage is a bad practice because this man has a wife already. And when I accepted to be with him, his wife will not leave me in peace. She will be insulting me. Oboya Henry Lotomia sees things differently. Henry says wife inheritance comes with a lot of responsibility and insists that he takes care of his deceased brother's wife and children on top of his own family. This is the direct product myself. I own all the property. In the case of anything happening within the family, I'm responsible. I'm taking care of the family of my brothers. Others can inherit, more especially in the cattles. They can inherit other things. Meanwhile, leaving also the woman on the street without even caring for the children of the family, without even paying school fee, even health, even other kinds of responsibilities. Some widows in South Sudan who are inherited by their husband's brother continue to produce children for their in-laws. Most of the women involved in the wife inheritance this program spoke with had little to no choice during the process. South Sudan women also face challenges over property inheritance. Article 16, Section 5 of the South Sudan Constitution stipulates that women shall have the right to own property and share in the land of their deceased husbands together with any survival legal beneficiary of the deceased. For VOA News, I am Kaltuma Vanessa reporting from the Eastern Equatorial State Capital, Torit.